Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to talk about the battle pass. I know this is this time of the year when people were saving their battle pass tokens. And by the way, quick answer to your question. Do you need to use your battle pass tokens this year? Yes, you need to. Battle pass tokens won't go to the next year so please do not keep them otherwise you are going to get bonds for them which is not the finest solution in my opinion so now let's talk quickly what do i recommend to do and what do i recommend to take first of all the most important thing is i would highly recommend every single time when we have a battle pass to get yourself the gear for um for pretty much uh, uh, bonds or I suppose to say uh, bounty gear, right? It is very, very important thing. Why so? Because you can take only one unit of this. And I personally like to take the uh, the something what is the best in slot. So for example, there is no better aiming than bounty aiming. So I am usually taking one of those just to have it. And as you can see, I took only one equipment piece and it's GG Finito. You cannot spend 15 tokens for it. So it is pretty much locked for only one um, each season. So each three months. Keep this in mind. Now speaking about the tanks, which I think is amazing and which I think it's not so good. Obviously, you can see in-depth uh, opinions about the tanks um, in the index page. But if I can say two tanks which are must-have, I would say Char Futur is the one and Phase 1 is the one. I would say those two tanks are the best. After that, if you are up for a trolling, I would say Cobra is absolutely amazing because you can spank everyone like there is no tomorrow and it is re really not a tank, fellas. After that, you have four tanks left, Lorraine, Kunze, K91PT and 777. Out of those four tanks, I would say for me personally, it would be Key 91 PT and Lorraine. I know there is people who do not like Lorraine. I'm very, very well aware of that. For me, this tank is working fine because it has very accurate gun, uh, kind of average armor or below average armor, but the most important thing you, uh, you can hit. If you are taking the heavy tank and you are relying only on armor, this is not the tank which I would recommend to take. 777 on the other hand, it is good tank armor wise and until you are meeting someone who is willing to shoot the gold and you are realizing your accuracy is not so great. So I do not really recommend to take this vehicle unless you are a heavy tank fanatic, right? And Kunze Panzer is extremely hard tank to play with. Uh, and I truly dislike the Kunze Panzer uh, siege mode because whenever you are going into the siege mode, you are gaining uh, accuracy, which is great, but you are using losing DPM and mobility. And obviously, whenever you are in the siege mode, you are obviously having a great gun depression and everything. But I found Kunze very frustrating tank to play with so let's repeat everything once again uh, my top three picks would be char futur phase one and probably cobra and after that it's up to you what do you want to go uh, next now speaking for a next year if our gaming will keep the tradition rolling the same way as they did before um, we should have cobra cheaper and we should have lorraine cheaper for uh, um tokens for a next season but i am not 100% uh, sure about this let's put that in this way so now when we spoke about all of those tanks i hope i gave you a bit better understanding of all of this and keep this in mind if you want to see uh, more information index pages there for you what do i mean by saying that you can find the youtube videos easily you can find uh, um, the tank ratings in depth and so on so on remember to check it out and now without further ado let's go with a uh, um, char footer and let's try to make this vehicle work let's go Okay, guys, the first battle is ends. Definitely not the best battle ever, but we will try to make it work. All in all, uh, this tank is extremely accurate sniper schnitzel, right? Uh, majority of you have this vehicle already, and you are very, very well aware of this beautiful mother trucker, how to play with it. Um, probably the most annoying thing of this vehicle would be the reload time between the shells four seconds is quite annoying but it nevertheless it can work very very well now speaking about the 
gun, I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal and it is absolutely amazing. And we will demonstrate this. Oh, okay. And we are going to demonstrate this very, very soon. Now I would love to see this guy going back so we could farm this budget. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. And now we are having a blast. This poor soul <coughs> is not enjoying himself. I can promise you that he is ignoring the conqueror, to be fair with you. He is not paying too much attention at this uh, gentleman, but, but conqueror is kind of blocking our way as well. And yes, I am trying to be that annoying mother trucker who is making sure the budget will regret his life choices. And we did 1.5 thousand just like this. We lost quite a bit of the HP, but... It is how it is, fellas. We cannot cry too much about that. Meanwhile, we see the E75 trying to be involved into the uh, current game and we are going to make sure we will try to cut him out from all of this. Uh, what do you mean by saying that skill? Well, that's straightforward. We are going to take this position and we will start farming his side. Uh, there is no other way around it, right? Good, we are in position and now we are going to have some fun. That is one for E75, E75 is not really happy, that is two for E75, absolutely amazing and he decided to get involved to the literal maximum. That is okay, I'm not going to escape from this position yet because we have all time fellas. All I need to do, I need to wait until Defender or Leo will try to peek like this and I have, um, and I have a feeling they will. I will give them another 5 seconds. We have all time. And look at this beauty. And look at this beauty. This is exactly what I want to see. I want to see the Progetto peaking like this. Whenever a fence will fall, that means he is uh, accessing this position, right? That's all I care about and that's all I want to see. And now I'm not holding that one, last one in the magazine. I just do not really think it is that great of the deal. Um, looking into all of this, we are already sitting on 2.6 thousand damage. Obviously not the best score yet, but we have chance and time to improve. Also, one more thing, which is super important to say is, this vehicle is extremely strong in uh, pretty much any map, I would say. It doesn't really matter that much you are getting the Ensk or you are getting the Himmelsdorf or you are getting Prokurovka, you can still be useful with this vehicle, at least in my opinion. Most of them are spotted and look at this IS-3A making pressure through the middle. This is exactly what I want to see. Okay, how are you doing? He's peeking and here we go, beautiful. Luckily for us, his gun handling is ooh, not so great. Well, unless he's using the proper equipment, then his, his gun handling is becoming so much better. I am destroying that fence in front and we are spanking him once again. Two out of four, not horrible considering I did some renovations here. Now, 27 seconds, all we need to do, we need to simply wait patiently until this IS-3 will make a decision to go up front and oh decision he will make. And decision he will make. We have 14 seconds left, fellas. We can definitely win this face to face. All we need to do, we need to try to eliminate the IS-3A first. It's a very important thing to say. IS-3A needs to die first. Beautiful. And now we are booming. Watch this. Now we can get involved. How are you doing today? Having a great time? Excellent. I'm enjoying myself as well. Beautiful. Let's go on the reload. You see, this tank can defend itself even in the city maps. If you are playing with Leopard 1, well, you will shoot once and uh, in 10 seconds you can shoot for a second time. With this vehicle, you, can, you have a bit of the burst fire and you have extremely good gun accuracy. So, so this is very important thing to say and to mention, I would say. Okay, <clears throat> what we are going to do now, we are going to get involved with our the enemies. There is no other way, right? That's what we are going to do. Let's go for it. Mr. Defender, unfortunately I cannot do anything for him yet. Although he is waiting for me until I am going to peek. Wow, you sneaky, 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 sneaky mosquito. 
That was a good shot by this gentleman. Very, very good shot. Anyways, looking into the score, we are approaching 5,000, which is absolutely amazing. And there is a chance we are going to eliminate this guy. 5.1 thousand um, raw damage. Beautiful. Obviously, no assisting damage because of the map which we had. But all in all, I am feeling happy. Let's teleport to the scoreboard. Okay, guys. Beautiful. Uh, first class, high caliber, very, very, very strong game. I'm pretty sure we are top by experience. We are second by experience, but we are top by the damage. And we made 91,000 profits, although most of the profits are coming from uh, completing the mission. Let's go for round number two. Oh, look at this sniper schnitzel map. El Haluf encounter game. Okay, 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 nice. We can make it work. What am I thinking? I am thinking on staying on the field for now. I do not really want to be too aggressive. Uh, even though, to be fair with you, I think I could. But I think this might be uh, more beneficial for us. So first things first. Um, what position I am thinking about taking? I think about playing here and probably t chilling in the typical bush. We have a light tank who decided to be super aggressive. Who decided to go in the open field and hopefully... He is going to spot someone for us. And this is like the most typical start for this map without taking too many risks. Or I suppose to say too many stupid risks. And you can definitely be the... Ooh, skill camo. Beautiful camo, my man. Beautiful camo. I'm feeling bad by shooting this gentleman. Mate, you have my camo. Okay, anyways, let's go on the reload. We are okay. We missed first shot because he was baboon. And we uh, wanted to give him a chance, right? Uh, just uh, to have a warning shot in a way. Ooh. Shrek is spotted. What that means, that means uh, he got spotted by the light tank somewhere here. I would say the light tank is sitting somewhere here. Okay. Beautiful. Very important information for us. Very, very nice. We will need to figure out how we can eliminate this light tank from the game. Progetto. My lovely Progetto with a beautiful camo. How are you doing? I am so sorry, mate. I, game made me to do this. Game made me to do this. Why he couldn't be in our team? Why? Why? Okay. It doesn't look that great for us by any shape or any form, I would say. At least I do not really like how the situation is looking like. Probably the best play would be... To go into this position but i think it is getting more and more and more complicated to do so i'm aware of that light tank sitting in the middle i get it fellas but there is nothing what i can do in order to counter this little mosquito apart going down myself but if i am going to go down myself i have um i have a feeling i will not be able to recover from this or i won't be able to do absolutely anything in this situation right so at this point we are getting comfortably into position from where we can support our team and if enemies will make a decision to try to be a bit aggressive here we are going to spank them like there is no tomorrow it is quite a journey if you would ask me it is quite a journey fellas okay he's using this dead tank that is fear let's try to spank him very bad shot by me not much what I could have done, apart aiming better. Okay, fair enough, and one more. Oh my bananas. Three out of three missed shots. That is quite sad. That is quite sad, fellas. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's wait. We need to be patient, fellas. We need to be patient in this situation. I am very, very well aware of how the things are looking like here. I know we are losing this. I know we are losing this. But at this point, we are just simply waiting until we are going to finish um, reloading. And whenever we will, we will feel pretty great. Hard game. Very, very hard game. Do I regret by not going into the heavy line? With all honesty, not so much. 
I think it would be kind of game over either way. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really matter we are going to go into the heavy line or we won't. I think this would be still very, very um, complicated and pretty much horrible situation. It happens, you cannot win them all. You cannot win them all for sure. Hmm? Good, let's try to check it out. Maybe someone is going like this. No, no one is going like this. Okay, good information. Thank you very much. How about the T-30 moving through the middle? He's down to fartable, so we are going to go for him. And after that, we are going to go for Mr. Borat just like so. Beautiful. Okay, what do we want to do at this point? At this point, I would love to... I cannot escape from here. That's it. I am, I am pretty much position locked at this point. At this point, I am position locked. 20 seconds left. If we are going to get one more clip, we can consider ourselves lucky. Very hard and complicated game. But don't get me wrong, I like it. Don't get me wrong, I like it. Okay, how are you doing? That is one. We have three in the magazine. I think our guy should be able to eliminate this gentleman. At least that's what I am hoping for. And let's see. Can we actually spank someone here? Mr. Borat? How are you doing? Are you having a great time? I see you do. Good. We have only two in the magazine left. We need to aim for this waza just like so. Spanking waza. Beautiful. And I have one more in the magazine. Now if our Shrek would be able to spank this waza we would feel ten times better. But I don't really think it is going to be uh, the case. Also we need to keep this in mind fellas. Borat. Uh, can easily clip us out in like literally a second. So um, I just cannot do absolutely anything about this. Mm -hmm. I need to be prepared for Borat. If Borat is speaking, we need to spank him. Or alternatively, we need to spank this gentleman. Okay, Bora doesn't know we are on the reload or we are not on the reload, so that is fine. Maybe we will be able to win this. Actually, you know what? Borat might actually cap the base or T-57 with a two kills never spotted. Holy bananas. Holy bananas, fellas. Look at this. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this, fellas. We got this. is capping the base. Is it the T-57? If you are wondering what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to figure out aha, two guys are capping the base. Fine, fair enough. Fair enough. We are going to flank them. I hope I won't lose any hit points by dropping like this. Whoops. Lag. It was my cat. No! No! That was such a massive potential! That was so massive potential, fellas! Such a huge potential! Ay, yeah, 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 yeah! That could have been very easy. All I needed to do, I needed to um, take the safer road instead of trying to cut the line and we would be fine. Okay, that's my bad. Anyways, let's go to the scoreboard. Luckily, fellas, we had guys who carried my dirty baboon ass. I am very, very happy about this. All in all, 3.3 thousand damage, two kills, and potential for so much more, but I crashed it. Well, there is no medicine for stupidity, I guess. Oh, well, it is how it is. GG for a Mr. Shrek and T-55. You carried this beautiful game. Also, Lanson played extremely well. Chieftain P did a great job. Excellent carry, boys. Thank you very much. This is how our second game is looking like. Well, third game I have a feeling is going to be very very hard as well I have a feeling anyways 14,000 profits hip hip hooray let's go for a third game okay what do we have we have cliff and we have a standard battle okay fine very very nice I want to go into the middle I think this is the right way to do the things probably I could have crossed like this but um, we are going to be just fine 
Hmm. What is the best play for us? This is the question. I really, I am really afraid to make pressure like this instantly myself. I think it is way too risky. But what I am not afraid to do, I am not afraid to get into this position and try to punish someone crossing through the middle of the field like this gentleman or like this gentleman. Look at this standard we go. Look at this standard we go. Ay, 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 we hit the pole. Not exactly what I was looking for. It's okay. Beautiful. E run before, 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 before we will get clipped out. Okay, only one for the team. That is fine. Woo! Well, that was close, fellas. That was very, very close. That close to get completely clipped out. Okay, I have an idea. Uh, unfortunately, our start is not the best start ever by any um, by any means. And unfortunately, one to one B is going on top of the hill. Yeah, the situation became so much more um, complicated for us just like this. So I believe in this situation we need to go and play safe. I do not see how otherwise we could get more use of all this. I just do not see how we can be too aggressive. So, what we are going to do, we are going to take a sniper schnitzel position here and we will try to be the living crap out of this Mr. Standard B or alternatively out of the guys who are playing in the middle. Now this one to one B is dangerous for, uh, for us to cross like this. I just do not think it is a great idea for us to go for it. I just don't see um, myself getting that much use or feeling that great. Mean meanwhile, what I would like to see, I would like to see this gentleman. Beautiful, excellent, we got an amazing angle and we managed to eliminate him from the game. Good. Next, <clears throat> Chieftain P. He is going to be the next victim. And once again, we are just sitting, we are enjoying ourselves and we are having a great time. He is smart bugger. He is trying to check it out. Do we have any sniper schnitzels here? And he is feeling very comfortable. And you know what? He is actually rolling backwards on top of the hill. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Fair enough. Not bad. What do we want to do at this point? At this point, I will try to go on top of the hill myself. Obviously, there is alternative option like trying to make a bit of pressure like this but i think going on top of the hill might be the correct decision for us so let's try to make it work i am spotted probably by the mr leo i really do not want to get hit by him so i need to stop for a second and soon we will try to blind fire this gentleman at least that's what i think mm -hmm. not a big surprise i could have expected that and in fact i did so, I cannot cry about this whatsoever. Okay, we got this. Look, very hard start of this map, but um, there is nothing else what we could do at this point. At this point, we just need to be patient and we need to wait until enemies will mess up. And what is my idea? What is my thinking? I really want to see this Leo making a mistake, right? Um, eventually, this gentleman should try to peek sideways like this. Or maybe he is already here. And if he is here, maybe I could um, blind fire him. Maybe I could blind fire him. If you are wondering what is happening in my head, I am actually considering my life choices to make a hardcore pressure. And in fact, I am going for it. I think this is the right way to do the thing. So, by going super aggressively against this Leo, we should be able to eliminate him from the game. And after that, we can start working this one-to-one -one out or this badger out or whoever else is sitting in this position, right? And in the same time, Char Futur is one of those gentlemen which I would like to eliminate from the game. Beautiful, excellent job. We did not even lost, lost any hit points whatsoever by going super aggressively like this. That is great. And now... One to one sitting on top of the hill. Oi, 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 how are you doing? Going for a blind shot just like so. This should have been a damaging shot. At least that's what I believe in. And at this point, we are going to be very sneaky. 
skill, what do you mean by being sneaky? Well, I will try to take this position just like so and I want to spot the char footer sitting here or T91 sniping from the back and look at this beauty. I have a feeling this gentleman is absolutely toasted. That's one and he is dead, beautiful. I have only one in the magazine, I really want to shoot that shell. I just want to shoot someone and after that we can reload. Very hard game. Extremely hard battle, fellas. Very hard. Yeah, our team is winning by many, many guns. Mm, I would have been reloaded. Okay, I'm going on the reload. Last clip confirmed. I do not really think we will be able to do um, anything more after this clip, but that is completely fine. Now, very important thing to say, the K91 should snipe from this area here. That's what I am looking for, and that's what I am... This is what I am suspecting. Now, speaking about this char footer, what is the chance of this char footer being here? And I believe the chance is relatively, uh, relatively high. I do not want to jump yet. Whenever E100 will try to jump once again, whenever E100 will shoot, then we are going to go for him and we are going to jump down. I am aware of this char footer. Believe me, I am aware of that. Huh? Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Where is the key 91? Huh? Where is the key 91? This is the biggest question of all this. Where is that? Oh, char footer from the back, char footer from the back, char footer from the back. If I will high roll him, he is dead. No! Low roll! 320! Ay, 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 Such a hard game. It's okay. I'm not going to cry over it. It happens. It was very, very complicated battle and it was extremely hard to get some use for ourselves. But in the end of the day, we are winning. So uh, that's all that matters. Right? Let's report to the scoreboard. Okay, all and all, definitely not excellent game, but we have what we have. 2.4 thousand damage, 200 assisting damage, very hard game. We are fifth by the damage, we are fourth by experience, very hard game all and all. And what do we have? We have 14,000 credits. That's okay. Well, that's all we could have done, right? And all and all, fellas, our session for today was 3.6 thousand damage, which is fine for this vehicle, but no assisting damage whatsoever. Although, to be fair with you, maps which we got mainly for assisting damage, they we are kind of poopy, if you know what I mean. All and all, I love Chair Futur. I think it is a beautiful vehicle, and if you haven't took this tank yourself from the, from the Battle Pass, I would highly recommend for you to do so. Anyways, thank you very much much for watching i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace